Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here, here to do a video showing you how to root your Samsung Galaxy Nexus on Jelly Bean. This should work if you're on an ice cream sandwich still as well. Um, this will work on any variant, whether it's the International Unlocked version, Sprint, Verizon, it does not matter. Um, but anyways, first of all, on your device, you do want to go ahead and go to Settings. I, this is the Sprint Galaxy Nexus in my case. Otherwise, Settings, scroll down, Developer Options, and then go ahead and turn those on and hit OK. And then go ahead and check USB debugging. So go ahead and hit check and hit OK. So make sure USB debugging is checked. That would be the first step. And once it is checked, we are just about ready to go. So you can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. And clicking on the link will take you to this website. First of all, huge shout out to MSKIP, MSKIP, or whatever it is, however you pronounce it. Big shout out to him for putting this toolkit together. Uh, makes everything easier for us, so be sure to thank him for it. Otherwise, go ahead and scroll down, and download link is right here. You will see, click here to download. Just click on this link and download it. It will be an .exe file. Once it downloads, you, you can just go ahead and open it up, or go ahead and go to your downloads, and you will see Galaxy Nexus Toolkit right there. You can double click on it, and then go ahead and hit yes, once it asks for user account control, and here it is. So. Here's the Galaxy Nexus uh, Root Toolkit Jelly Bean Edition, right here. Uh, you will see for GSM and LTE, it does not matter which variant you do have, it, uh, it will work. So now what we can go ahead and do is hit next, and hit next again, and hit next again. And then you will see it's putting it in a folder called C Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. So on our C drive, there will be a folder called Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. Go ahead and hit next, and it's going to extract all the files we do need into that specific folder. So here we go. Um, you can just hit close, and you can have execute the program now, have checked, and go ahead and hit close, and then it'll go ahead and start everything up for us. You'll see it opens a command prompt, says starting ADB right here. Do you want to check if an update is available? It's going to check if there's an update actually available for the toolkit itself. I'm just going to type no because I do know I'm on the latest version. So here we go. It brings this screen up. Uh, now once the screen comes up, first of all, uh, what you're going to want to do is check your model and build. So down here at the bottom it says select your phone model and build. What we can do is go ahead and bring this down a little bit. So here we go. And it's asking for the prompt at the bottom. It's actually got a blinking cursor and says, what model do you have? Right there. So you need to find your model. It doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, obviously it matters, but you need to make sure that uh, if you have the Sprint, you go to Sprint, Verizon, you go to Verizon, uh, GSM USA, GSM. Uh, so just make sure you do know which model you do have. In my case, I have the Sprint model right here running Jelly Bean Android 4.1. So I'm just going to go ahead and type 17. So whatever number is before it, go ahead and type that. Hit enter. And now it brings up a new list of a bunch of options. So with this options, uh, we can go ahead and scroll up to the top. And you'll see there's many things that you can do. First of all, if you do not have the drivers installed on your PC, you do need to make sure you do that. So what you can do now is go ahead and press 1. And then it will go ahead and install the drivers for you automatically, which is a great tool. So if you do not have those installed, I already have them installed, so I don't have to worry about that. But if you do not have them installed, there you go. Otherwise, uh, what you can do is, first of all, you need to unlock your bootloader. Unlocking your bootloader is going to wipe everything on your phone. It's going to do a factory reset. It's also going to wipe your internal storage, so make sure you back up your internal storage. Make sure you back up your contacts, apps, etc. Everything you do need uh, because your phone will be completely wiped just like it was out of the box. So you have uh, that's one of the things you need to do. You need to root it. Um, whether or not you want recovery, if you do plan to flash ROMs, etc., it's kind of up to you. You can do it step by step. If you just want to root your phone, you can do that. All right, so I'm just going to recommend choosing eight, one click for all. It'll basically do everything for you. It'll unlock your bootloader. It'll root your phone. It'll flash a recovery as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and select option eight now. Again, make sure your hang on. Let me go ahead and plug this in. Make sure your device is plugged in and it says USB debugging on it. Otherwise, we can go ahead and go back down and type in 8. So option 8, select it. You will make sure you read this. It's important. Again, unlocking your bootloader is actually going to do a factory reset, so just keep that in mind. Um, we are going to need to do that now. So we are on our main home screen, so we are not in fast boot yet. So type in no and hit enter, and it's going to reboot our device into 
the bootloader or fast boot mode. It'll go ahead and put it into fast boot mode. And then what's going to happen is it's going to prompt you. It'll say, do you want to unlock your bootloader right here? So you will see unlock bootloader. What we need to do is go ahead and press volume up and highlight yes. And once it highlights yes, go ahead and press the power button to select it. This is going to do a factory reset once again. So after it does do this, it is going to take a while to boot back up. So, uh, it's, it's, since it's going to take so long, obviously because we did do a factory reset, you need to be patient with this first boot up. You will see a padlock down there that is unlocked. That lets you know your bootloader is unlocked. So let this boot up. Again, it'll take a while. I will be back once it's booted back up. Alright, so once it boots back up, it will take you to this welcome screen. You do need to make sure you, can, you run through and uh, you can set everything up if you'd like to. We shouldn't have to do any other factory resets now upcoming but once we get to the home screen we need to go back into settings and then go ahead and turn usb debugging back on so go back to developer options hit oh, hit uh, turn them on and then check usb debugging hit ok make sure usb debugging is checked once again and once it does our tool uh, toolkit should continue now so it says continue in 10 in 10 seconds all right now what it's going to do is reboot us back into fast boot and you will see it uh, it's doing so now and I believe what it's going to do now is go ahead and root the device so uh, our phone is going to reboot multiple times and then go back into the boot, the bootloader once again into fast boot mode so just kind of let the toolkit do what it needs to uh, I believe it boots back up once it boots back up it goes back into fast boot so I'll be back once it does that all right, so as you can see, it says root procedure complete. It's pushing BusyBox now. Um, again, your phone is turned on, so it's going to run through this script. It does it all for you. Again, this is a he this is awesome that it's typing in all of these commands for us. So again, make sure you do uh, thank the developer for putting this toolkit together. But once it does all this root stuff, it's going to boot us back into fast boot mode, and now it's going to go ahead and flash a recovery for us. And it'll go ahead and say congratulations. And now it's going to reboot phone and return to main menu. And there we have it. So our, we should be all done, actually. We should be rooted. We should have a custom recovery installed as well. And we should be done. So I'm going to let this phone boot back up, and I will be back. All right, so the phone's booted back up. You can go ahead and go into your app drawer, and you will see super user right there. We are now rooted, and we do have a custom recovery installed. So um, if you are someone that does just want root only and you don't want to start flashing ROMs, you don't want a custom recovery, what you can do actually is go back to your toolkit and go ahead and scroll up and then you will see option six. There's an option to flash recovery. So go ahead and select option six and then select stock recovery and that could potentially allow you to receive over the air updates if you are rooted just because it does have stock recovery. So if you are someone that just wants root, go ahead and select option six and choose stock recovery and flash that. But otherwise you, you are actually all done if you are looking for just root and a custom recovery. I can show you how to get into that custom recovery now so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my phone. All right, so now I am back to my phone. You can unplug it actually since we're done. Unless you wanted to flash stock recovery, you can do so via that toolkit. If you do have any issues with flashing stock recovery, go ahead and let me know. I can help you out if you'd like. But to get into our custom recovery, you can go ahead and hit power off, hit OK, or obviously there's some applications such as Quick Boot found in the Play Store where it can automatically reboot you into your custom recovery. But to manually do so, go ahead and shut off your phone. And once our device is powered off, we need to go ahead and press and hold volume down, volume up, and power button all at the same time and keep it held down. So go ahead and press all three of them. This will take you into the bootloader right here. So now what we need to do is go ahead and press volume down, press it again until it says recovery mode right there, and then go ahead and press the, the power button to select it. And what that will do is reboot our device into our custom recovery. I believe it automatically installs Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery which is nice. So go ahead and let it reboot us into our custom recovery. And there we go. Clockwork Mod Recovery version 6.0.1.0 right here. This is a complete touchscreen recovery. We can go ahead and look at it real quick. There's an option to reboot system, install zip from SD card, wipe data, wipe cache, backup and restore mounts and storage, and advanced. Uh, so if I want to go to the advanced menu, I can just select it, press it, uh, let's say I wanted to wipe Dalva Cache, I could hit yes, wipe Dalva Cache, and Dalva Cache was wiped, just like that. So you will see, very cool, um, 
it uh, works works well there. You can actually still use volume up and down and the power button to select if you would like to. If you don't like the touch recovery, you can use that as well. To reboot system, just go ahead and press reboot system now. And our device will reboot and that would be it. So we are now fully rooted. We have a custom recovery or stock recovery if you installed stock, if you just want root access and that's it. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask, leave a comment. I do have a video showing you how to get free hotspot. I can link to that in the description um, and that's it. So you are now rooted. Hopefully this video has helped out. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me as well for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.